Mm -hmm. Don't let other people make you feel unconfident. I've had people like in my family who've been like, ooh, you're wearing your natural hair. Mm, I don't like it. Go back to weave. No, girl. Be you. Fully beautiful who God has made you to be. And let me just remind you real quick, sis. Okay, you are beautiful inside and out. Okay, and this hair right here don't complete you. It's been a journey, let me tell you, okay, from going natural to also hearing people's opinions. I wanted to just go ahead and take you guys along the way through my emotions, through the ups and downs, like not loving my hair to be honest, actually loving it, just being confident. I'm gonna keep it real 100% and we're just gonna get started. A new lens yes yes now you guys didn't know what's that thing right there get out the way when I was growing up my parents put a lot of braids in my hair because it was the most easiest thing ever to be honest and it was the best thing you guys probably experienced the same thing too but braids make my hair grow like no other okay I just did the passion twist braids and you guys see how much my hair has grown it grows like no other when I was in middle school we went ahead and permed my hair honestly the perm wasn't the thing that affected my hair you know what affected my hair I would not moisturize it or oil it or wrap it I would just sleep on it no bonnet or nothing it would be a hot mess. Like, ooh, my hair kind of broke off. I kind of want to do like bangs. Worst choice of my life. I went to my hairstylist at that time and I did bangs and I cut my hair really short. Then I started adding some clip and extensions into my hair. Like, ooh. I love, love, love long hair, personally, especially on myself. And I did that a lot in college. Then fast forward when I graduated college in May 2016. Then fast forward in December 2016, I was like, you know what? You know what, sis? Let's just cut it all off, okay? Let's do something fresh and new and just have it start growing back all over. So I went ahead and cut it all over. I actually have a video right here to show you guys. December 2016 to July 20. 18, I wore a lot of wigs and a lot of weaves just to protect the hair. July 2018, which is summer of July 2018, I decided to wear my natural hair out. One day my mom was like, you have beautiful hair, you should just wear it out. And honestly, I was just so inspired by my stepmom saying I have beautiful hair. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, why not? I did have someone in my family that was like, ooh, you wearing your, I see you wearing your natural hair out, go back to the weaves, girl. I was like, no. I almost like hanged up the phone on her. I was like, Jesus, help me out. But look at the growth now. And you guys know I just did a protective style, which is called a passion twist, which I did middle of October to the end of November, and I feel like it has helped to grow my hair. Going back to what I said before, braids help grow my hair so, so, so much. But also, not just braids, but also keeping my hair healthy. When I did do the passion twist, I oil my hair every other day. But also, when I do have my natural hair out like this, I, I oil my hair every day, to be honest, and I keep it moisturized and riched up. And what I do oil my hair with is Jamaican black cast oil and also there's another oil that I've been loving it's over there let me go get it hold on but also not just that I also have been using this wild growth hair oil I think I saw it on Instagram but these are the two oils I've been using um, for growth I actually have a whole video on oils what I use for my scalp to keep it healthy and all that good stuff I'll link it down below I also have a whole video on products that I love and those are the products I'm still using today I'll do an updated one probably about four or five months from now but those are the products that I'm loving so I'll link both those videos down below from going from December 2017 to now, December 2018, you guys see a huge, huge difference to my hair. It's a year difference, so it took a year to grow my hair to this length, and I'm hoping by next year it'll be a whole yes like bigger you know what I mean if so if you do have natural hair don't get down on yourself if your hair is not growing it takes time girl okay so the things that I've been doing that has helped me a lot is again I use oils but the second thing is I do a weekly deep conditioner like being lazy with your hair care is not gonna work sis okay you need to take the time to actually do your hair I know sometimes it takes a little while okay sometimes it takes two or three hours I only have night time so I go to bed at like 2 a.m. from doing my hair it's a real struggle but it's worth it if I keep the hair healthy the third thing I have is I only shampoo my hair one or two times a month and I use a more stripping shampoo and then I also use a more moisturizing shampoo at the same time Four, like I said I oil my hair every day or every other day something around that routine five I trim my hair every three to six months usually it's more around that time period it might be five months it might be four months it just depends how my hair feels don't be afraid to trim your hair okay the more healthy your hair is it will grow and then the sixth 
tip I have for you guys. I think it's six, hopefully. But protective style slash low manipulation to the hair. Just doing styles that are going to protect your hair and pretty much leave your hair alone so it can grow. Going that also goes into low manipulation. Putting your hair in a tight bun every day. Hello. That is no bueno because it's really stretching the hair and you might have thin edges over time. Just doing styles that are super easy and simple that you can wear throughout the week. So that was my hair journey thus far. Okay, here December 2018. Hope this video just inspired you. Just know that you're beautiful inside and out. Just remember that your hair doesn't define who you are. Your character and who you are and how you treat people defines who you are and who God has called you to be declared over your life. Amen? Amen. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, okay? Make sure to leave a comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe for more videos every single day. Wake! I just finished filming and I'm just like chilling out. I have new videos, a lot of new videos, so you know I upload three videos a week and sis, are you watching? Are you watching? If you're not, check them out right now. Mm -hmm.